Hi, I'm Josh, and today I'm going to show you how to install your windfall frame for iPad Pro 12.9. Your kit will include a windfall frame for iPad Pro 12.9, an assembly tool, four screw caps, four vessel mounting nuts, four vessel mounting screws, four drywall anchors, and four mounting screws to use for mounting to drywall or to wood. There are two distinct groups of installation hardware here, the vessel mounting hardware and the drywall mounting hardware. Today I'm going to show you how to use both groups to install your windfall frame. You'll need to supply your own iPad Pro 12.9, and if you're going to be installing on a drywall, you'll need to supply a Phillips head screwdriver, a hammer, and a level. First, I'm going to show you how to install your windfall frame onto a VESA compatible mounting solution like this monitor arm here. For this installation, we're going to need our VESA mounting hardware, our screw caps, and our assembly tool. If we want our power R tablet during use, we'll also need to supply our power cord and a Kensington ClickSafe cable lock if we want to secure our frame. The first step is to remove the bezel of the frame. We're going to take the assembly tool and remove the security screws in the four corners. Now we're going to set our bezel aside. Then we're going to take our back plate of our frame and our vessel mounting screws and install the back plate of the frame onto the monitor arm. Then we're going to take the vessel mounting nuts and secure the screws from behind. If we're going to be using a Kensington ClickSafe cable lock with our frame, now's the time to install our anchor. We're going to take the anchor and the assembly tool that comes with the cable lock kit and install the anchor onto the back plate of our frame. We're going to come in from behind to insert the T-bar, rotate it 90 degrees, and then tighten it down using the assembly tool. If we're going to want to power our tablet while it's in use, we're going to take our power cord and thread it through one of the mouse holes in the back here. The tablet effectively traps the cord and keeps it secure during use. We're going to take the cord and run it up from the bottom and then let it rest in one of the mouse holes here. You can take the rest of it and wrap it around our monitor arm and then run it off to our power source. Now we can put our tablet in our frame. We're going to take our iPad Pro 12.9 and make sure that our power port is on the same side as the power cord. Now we can reinstall the bezel. We can take our screw caps and cover up the rear of our security screws. Then, to secure our frame, we're going to take our cable lock and install it into the anchor we installed previously. Last, we're going to take our power cord and plug it into our tablet. And that's how you install your windfall frame onto a VESA compatible mounting solution. Next, I'm going to show you how to install your windfall frame for iPad Pro on a drywall like this. To install my drywall anchors, I took my hammer and hammered them halfway in, and then took my screwdriver and screwed them in the rest of the way. When you've done it right, your drywall anchors will sit completely flush with your wall. Next, we're going to take the back plate of our frame and our mounting screws and install the back plate of the frame to the wall. Before we finish our installation, we're going to want to check our work with the level. Nice. Then we're going to take our iPad Pro 12.9 and place it in the back plate of the frame. Now we can reinstall our bezel. The 
With the finishing touch, we're gonna take the screw caps and cover up the exposed hardware in the rear. And that's how you install your windfall frame for iPad Pro onto a wall. And that's how you assemble your windfall frame for iPad Pro 12.9. If you have any questions, please contact us at service at hecklerdesign.com. Thanks for watching.